Hey, what's up guys? I want to show you my Leatherman P4 squirt here. This thing gets used all the time. You can see all the wear on it. It's been EDC'd every day for the last like six months. Fantastic little tool. Perfect size, not too tiny, you know, or I can't do anything with it, but not, you know, a big hunk of steel in my pocket either. So, really love it. Um, but recently, I had an issue with this. Um, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm trying to like build up a little bit of suspense as to what, what's going on in this video, but I keep forgetting there's a stupid title, isn't there? Yeah, you could see it. That's why you clicked on the video. <sighs> I forget that. Um, so anyway, let's cut to the chase here. I broke the file. Now, first off, before I really get into this, let me just explain that um, this is no fault of this tool whatsoever, okay? I'm not making this video to say it's a crappy tool. I'm not making this video to say that it wasn't supposed to break. I'm just making the video to tell you what happened, <laughs> okay? Um, I still absolutely love this, this tool, and I will still carry this very tool for a long, long time. Um, this broke because of human error, okay? And let me explain briefly what happened here. Okay, obviously it snapped off, as you can see here. All right, this is the file on it. Now, what happened was this was used to pry something. Okay, I've always uh, told you guys that, you know, please use the right tool for the right job. Now, I'm usually talking about knives, right? Now, to this day, I have never, ever in my entire life pried with a knife. Not a $2 knife, not a $2,000 knife. Never. Never, never, never. I cut things with knives. Occasionally, I stab things, although I don't have to. Uh, for whatever reason, I stab stuff. Um, <laughs> reminds me a little ICP. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I don't pry with knives. But my multi-tools, occasionally, I'll end up poking and prodding and prying with some of the screwdrivers, you know, or in this case, the awl here. Um, it's just something I just happen to do out of necessity because it's improvising, okay? I would never, ever, still, in a million years, take a blade, and pry anything with a blade, no matter how big, small, how quick a job can be, or how long it's gonna take, would not do it, okay? Because a knife's not a pry bar. But I fell victim to, uh, to using a tool improperly, and it failed on me, okay? Again, I'm not faulting this tool whatsoever for this, okay? I'm just letting you know from experience that, hey, don't pry with your stuff. Um, the story was I was at my friend's house and he's putting up a, um, I went actually over there to uh, go walk the dogs, because I've been exercising with the dogs, and. It's kind of fun, unless they have to take a crap. And one of my old tags, I wrote that uh, uh, Gus, you've seen videos of Gus, the bulldog, the English bulldog. Uh, very cute little guy, but uh, not so cute when he's taking a dump. And for some reason, sometimes he gets really excited and he'll just like go towards the center of the road and just take a huge, wet, disgusting dump all over the place. Like it, it shoots out like, uh, I don't know, a broken ice cream machine. Um, and it's really disgusting, <laughs> but I put that in the tags and that's actually what happened. That's a true story. But um, I don't even know why I was talking about Gus taking a dump in the road. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to walk the dogs, right? And my friend uh, was putting on a new heater um, on the base of his porch and on the you know electric baseboard heater. And there's a little pop out thing, little metal disc, but it's perforated, you know, so you can pop it out to, to use that space for something. So he just asked me briefly, oh, Jet, because he knows I carry all kinds of crap. He's like, oh, you got a screwdriver on you? And I said, no, I don't have a full, scri full screwdriver on me. Um, it's in my bag in my car, but I didn't have my car with me. So uh, I just pulled this out. And I said, you know what? Just try the file, see if that'll work. And I was prying with it a little bit and then just popped off, you know? So that's, that's how it happened. Uh, no, it wasn't right, but it was improvising. Didn't have a screwdriver at hand. And it was just a quick little thing. But uh, what I want to show you this, I found it interesting. You gotta come super close with this. Is the uh, the inside? Hopefully, this will focus in a macro mode, kind of maybe. Um, it almost looks like that it's metal on the outside, like a layer of metal over, like some kind of zamic or some some kind of poured alloy. You know, something really just brittle. So anyway, it's gonna be really hard to pick up on that. Actually, no, it's not. Let me grab my jeweler's loop. Holy crap, I haven't used that thing in a long time. I'll be right back.
Oh no, guys, I can't find my jewels loop. Hmm. Uh, when I did my move, uh, because I have the HD camera, I haven't been using it, so it's temporarily lost. Not for good. As a piece of my YouTube history. I will find it, but not for this video. So anyway, um, yeah, just don't pry with things that you're not supposed to pry with, okay? Um, ironically, um, I used to carry a, uh, a widgie bar, you know, the county com pry bars, a variety of sizes on my keys. And part of my EDC has changed and the pry bar came out and I didn't have it on me. Just one of those things, a little bit of irony. Um, so guess what I'm gonna start doing? <laughs> I'm gonna start EDCing another mini pry bar. So anyway, I just wanted to make a video on this and show you guys my dumb mistake suggesting uh, to pry with a file. So that's all. Um, to be honest, I used the file one time in the last like six months I've been carrying this thing. Uh, however, it was nice that it was there. So now I'm one tool down. Uh, what gets used most on this, obviously, are the pliers themselves. I've used the snips before, the wire snips, which is the, the very base or mouth of the pliers. Um, never use the blade. This is my, like, I, what I did was I strapped this up. It's razor, razor sharp. I mean, scary sharp. Uh, and this is my backup blade, okay? For some reason, if uh, my other knives, who knows what happens to them. I'm not gonna lose them. But um, I don't know. It's just good to have multiple blades on you. So this is always razor, razor sharp, ready to go. Uh, I've used the, um, the awl for, like I said, kind of poking at things and prodding and kind of trying to lift things up and start start the edge of a sticker so I can grab it and pull a sticker off of something, stuff like that, um, scraping. Um, and then of course I've used the uh, uh, screwdrivers a couple times for light duty screws, okay? You're not gonna be taking you know, your hinges off your doors with this little screwdriver. However, it will get certain uh, screws started, okay? I found that it's about 50% chance that it's gonna work for you, okay? Half the time I picked this out of my pocket, I need to unscrew something, and it just was not enough tool to handle the job. It was either, you know, in, um, you know, uh, like a stud or something where I had it, there's one case where I had to unscrew something from a stud and it was just too much pressure. It was too tight in there. So I couldn't use this and I didn't have enough leverage and it just wasn't good. Um, you know, about half the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't, no big deal. So anyway, other than P4 Squirt, still absolutely love this tool. Even though this whole video was just to tell you that it broke. Um, and I don't have fingernails anymore. <laughs> so I got my fingernails and now I'm trying to lift something off the table. So yeah, um, yeah, even though it broke, I love the thing. It's awesome. You know, what can you not like about it? It's really, it's the perfect size. It gives you enough, uh, enough tools and variety here. And if you don't use pliers very often, and you happen to use scissors, get the scissor version. You know, there's, I think there's an electrician version as well. So anyway, that's all. Love the tool. But hey, you know, dumb Jeff had a moment. We all do. Just kind of happens. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And I certainly hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.